I invite the children to come on up for a children's message. Any of the kids who want to come up? Children of any age. So if you're 53 and still a child, you're welcome to come up. Children of any age, come on up here for a kid's message. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just got to scoot out here a little bit so I can see you guys. There we are. Good morning. You're going to sit here? Hi. So I brought my favorite friend with me again today, Stitch. Remember yeah. Stitch? Yeah. And I was wondering, do you think Stitch is a good guy or a bad guy? Good. You think Stitch is a good guy? In between? Why in between? Why, why do you think Stitch is a good guy? What do you think? What did Stitch do anything good? Why do you think Stitch is a good guy? I you know what I know? Stitch blew up like a thousand spaceships. That doesn't sound like something a good guy would do. Blowing up spaceships, that doesn't sound like a good guy. I what? He tore up homework? Yeah, Stitch probably tore up homework. I bet you he did. I um, love David. You, know, you love David? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so far, Stitch sounds like a bad guy. Do you know anything else Stitch did? I know when Stitch got to Earth, the first thing he wanted to do was he wanted to tear down every city in the whole world. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to destroy every city. Does that sound like a good guy? No. And then, near the end of his first week on Earth, he destroyed Lilo's house. The whole house came crashing down. Do you remember that? He destroyed the whole house. Does that sound like something a good guy does? No. But, but what did he do at the end of the movie? Do you remember? At the end of the movie when Lilo got captured, Stitch is the one who went and saved him, right? Saved Lilo? He's the one who saved Lilo and, and rescued her. So that sounds like a good guy, doesn't it? So is Stitch a good guy or a bad guy? Good? Good? In between? Hmm. Do you know anyone else? Well, thank you. Do you know anyone else who's both good sometimes, but also bad sometimes? Do you know anyone else who's good sometimes and bad other times? You? You're good sometimes and bad sometimes? Yeah. You think everybody's like that? Yeah, I know I'm like that too. Sometimes I'm good, but sometimes I'm pretty bad. What do you think? Oh, yeah, we're going to just set it right here. It's okay. Can people be both good and bad? What do you think? Can people be both good and bad? Yeah? Yeah. Do you think when we're bad that God still loves us? You think so? Do you think when we're good, God still loves us? Yeah? So even no matter if we're bad or we're good, God still loves us? I mean, when we're bad, sometimes, you know, we need to do some work to correct our problems, don't we? But God still loves us. And when we're good, that probably makes God pretty happy, right? And God still loves us. Do you think no matter what people are like, God loves them, everyone in the world? What do you think? Do you think God loved Stitch when Stitch was bad? When Stitch destroyed Lilo's house, do you think God still loves Stitch? Yeah? Do you think when Stitch came to Earth and he wanted to tear down the whole planet that God still loved him, even though he may have been disappointed in him? Yeah? No matter what emotions we have going on, God still loves us. So, can we say a prayer to thank God for loving us even when we're bad, but also when we're good? Will you say a prayer with me? Can you fold your hands? Say, God, sometimes we're really bad and we get in trouble, but you still love us. Thank you for loving us even when we're really bad. And sometimes we're really good. And you still love us. 
thank you for loving us on both our good days and our bad days. Amen. Thank you all for coming up. You're hungry. Well, I don't have any M's today, but you can take those back with you.